device. It stopped. Oh, he tossed it at him. It's going on, your boy. Sit there with the intel, and you already see that Rakai is in the building. Hello, Governor. <laughs> Yo, episode six of Monarch. We are officially past the halfway point. So we're going to see how this bad boy ends. I hope it's sixth landing. If, you're, if this is your first time watching with us, don't worry. You can catch some of the previous episodes with the link in the description. And make sure you stay towards the end because we're going to be chopping it up with a quick review. Just letting you know, you know, how two brothers think about this whole project. So without any further ado. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. I thought you would be hungry, so I picked you up some along the way. Good point. Yeah, you're supposed to wear it. Wouldn't be surprised if all that radiation made him sterile. Smile. And, uh, oh, thank you. Have a drink. Yeah, you might as well take it to the neck. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> all right. Sometimes it's how it is. You got to get that little liquid courage in you to, you know what I'm saying? The unguided missile, this kid. I pulled him out of a, a bar brawl. He's all busted up. Is he drunk? Bloody knuckles. Yeah, he's feeling saucy. Do you remember what I told you to do to succeed in this man's army? Remember? Definitely, definitely, sir. You said to uh, only punch sailors and marines from now on. <laughs> That's a sailors and marines. <laughs> <laughs> We're excited to hear more about this mysterious Project Monarch. Outstanding. I think that you will find our work vital to not only American security, but global scientific superiority. Remember, he asked for plausible deniability. He told her, I was like, don't tell me nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again, Doc. General. Thank you, Captain. Because he got to an answer to these cats. Mm. Yeah. Well, you're going to change their minds. As old fashioned as they may be. It's, it's funny how old-fashioned back then is still current today. It's who you are, okay? Make America something again, because it's not great. Force of nature. He do sound like he's catching feelings, though. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, yeah, it's, that's definitely happening. That's absolutely happening. You know, they, they you know, it's, 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 right now, she could be the work boo. The <laughs> thing is, yeah, yeah, because clearly he don't have nobody else, but... Barbecues in the backyard with the neighbors. Sunday luncheons with the girls. Kids. Mm. They devour the world. I don't know what my favorite thing about children is. Making them. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Captain Shaw. Mm. <sighs> Urgent message for Captain Lee Shaw. From Bill Randall. Ah, oh, and it's from Bill. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Maybe next to the house, Oh, they was gonna go get it in. That was about to happen. The things I do for Monarch. <laughs> 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 Colonel, d'après votre dossier, vous parlez français. Si c'est vrai, grattez-vous la gorge. <clears throat> Excellent. <laughs> Clean. Well, come on, you would go through all that just to kill me. Yeah. Why do you know more than the finest physicists, geologists, and zoologists on Earth? Because I found it, Monarch. I think it's you. Does that make me crazy? Man, put the knife down, lady. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. like, can't, an can't answer with the gun to my head. Yeah. <laughs> like, you take the volume down on that a little bit. Yeah. If you're going to cut my throat, go on, get the cutting. Cause, <laughs> what are we doing? A guy thinks he saw it, but isn't sure. And what kind of a doubt are we? So, sorry. Pardon? Doctor. Oh, we're going to be awkward? We're going to be awkward at work? Yeah. Look at, look at that. The only other time I've seen isotopic signatures like this was in the Philippines. That's what led us to the wreck of Falaton. The wreck of Falaton? Oh, it's not one of our bogeys, then what is it? Three most beautiful words in the English language. I don't know. Titans don't care about budget meetings. They... That's because Titans don't have to sing for their supper, okay? We know he's got a beautiful singing voice. You. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not letting you go on a Titan hunt alone. Or, or you, both of you. 
Mm-hmm. Nut up in Pakistan hat. How are we even gonna get there? Get where? Surprise, surprise. She threatened my mother. On Monarch's orders, but she's not <laughs> taking orders from Monarch anymore because she's with us and you can trust her. No, you can't. <laughs> but still. <laughs> now all we need is a destination, which is, of course, where you come in. Yeah, I, I definitely don't trust her yet, but. Not only that, like, remember, uh, old girl May had worked out like a different little side deal with yep. her? I know you meant that as a burn, but I uh, actually love Colombo, and it's maybe the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You need friends. I have friends. Not internet friends. <laughs> what is it? This pattern. Mm -hmm. It's familiar, right? Word, you can pick that out. I'm calling bullshit on that, but, but okay, whatever. <laughs> we'll roll with it. What did Hiroshi do to get exiled from Monarch? His file sealed. <laughs> I'm really mad at that, though. <laughs> Good work. Yeah, well, you know, that was the thing about Columbo. He was always right, too. She's <laughs> getting like, you still need some damn friends. Direct our satellites to the coordinates Tim will be sending you. Get Dr. Barnes on the line. We're looking for gamma ray spikes. The hell is that? Yeah, <laughs> You look crazy. You need a nap. Look at Miranda. Look at Island. Yeah, I got that part. Someone should have to talk with the boy. He really got that big ass flux capacitor thing on a canoe. <laughs> So, I constructed that. A gamma radiation simulator. How have we not seen the Hulk? All this gamma radiation, like. <laughs> what? You look like your mama. With you random girls over the years. Mm-hmm. Looking like your mama. We haven't seen her. Oh, you. we did see our mama. <laughs> that makes two of us. Oh, my she bad. Excuse like me. Her. Looking like her grandmama. My bad. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. That's what I'll keep my word. Yeah, I'll win. As soon as we make it out of the desert. Together. Mm -hmm. Don't trust When it. you say stuff like that, together, yeah. <laughs> I mean, somebody ain't making it out. <laughs> because every time I think we're searching for dad, turns out there's some monarch business in the way. I'm sorry everything is tangled up together. But like, you do happen to know your dad worked for monarch, right? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I wanted to call it a day in Alaska and then Someone said nut up in Pakistan out. The only way out is through. Cause she's looking for the way out, out. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how people do what's right when it's only in their best interest. Oh yeah. It's just a thing of human nature. <laughs> Unfortunately. Look. He's thinking about his boo. Mm hmm. I need you to stay focused, my guy. Make the wrong choice, and I will act accordingly. But you make the right one. And you get to run Monarch your way. Mm. He'd be a better help to the team if he was ahead of Monarch, though. That's the thing. I, I think it's just over this ridge. Y'all probably stand on his back. Well, they see that whole mountain over there move. <laughs> Is that? Oh, I'll be damned. It's Hiroshi. Oh. He stood there. And he got his own H-bomb. Uh -huh. He's alive. <laughs> Dad! Over here, Dad! Yeah, he can be like, yo, I just, called, I just called a monster, man. Yeah. That that's probably pissed. Mm-hmm. Gonna be like, you gotta stand on his damn back. Oh, we're back in the past. That's the old one in the canoe. Yeah. I thought you said turning this thing on was like ringing the dinner bell. My father used to say that it's the reason they call it fishing, not to catch it. <laughs> mm. Have you ever seen one or Saturn? Mm, A Titan. Several. Yes, we have. I seen what two, three. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's something to that. Yeah. Lee, didn't think you were gonna make the party. Wouldn't miss it. How'd the serenade go with the bigwigs? Wait, I thought that was today. It is today.
she like why would you let that go we did i'm a radiation simulator yeah oh that's great he don't care about you <laughs> he care about one yeah. person and he knows it mm -hmm. bill knows it Oh no, they better pop up right about now. Yep. <laughs> All right, which one is it? Oh. Damn, how you find them? Mm-hmm. Oh, they got the we're Navy SEAL special yeah. ops look. You weren't supposed to come. That part. My place is here with you. You tripping, dog. Mm. You need what? I don't need you. Your Not protection? like that. Yeah. That's no, my job. No, your job is to protect Monarch. <laughs> Without you, there is no Monarch. Bruh. <laughs> That's frustrating. Why are you here? Yes. Ooh. You ain't even had it yet. I ain't even you get are. it. <laughs> Listen. We can't do this. We can try. Talking about Bill. We can't put the greater good before our own desires. It's mm. losing everything. I don't care. So does Bill know or her and... I don't think her and Bill have a thing yet. That's... Yeah. Bill have to explain yeah. that later. Yeah, I think so. Stop. What? The device. It stopped. Why do you get closer to it? You should be back further oh, away from... It's gone. The boat's gone. Oh, he tossed it at him. He, he is angry. Are y'all not looking? Oh, that's, that's Zilla. Oh, that's the real deal. It, it's not is no that, regular kaiju. It's the, it's the big boy. Zilla? Yeah. It is him. Look at him. He is crapping himself right now. He is rubbing one out. Just involuntarily. We didn't kill it. Jesus Christ, we didn't kill it. Look at her. She's so happy. Oh, yo, look at this. Ground breaking oh, up. Mm. Yeah. What the hell is that? Hold up, you, you called it. It is the mountain. Wow. Oh, bruh. Yeah, yeah you yeah, just, Yeah. You were on Godzilla's back just chilling. Oh. Whoa. Oh, you just out here throwing trucks. Oh. And... Oh. oh, shit. Look, she's like, I know that sound. Mm. She's like, she's like, can you imagine the amount of therapy that she's had? And she got to start back at zero. Is it's that like, Godzilla? It is. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's... Okay. Is that Godzilla? Yeah. First time I've seen him use his arms in a while. Yeah. <laughs> pull, pull up, pull out. How do you run into that, bro? You like. I know. It ain't you like. Are. It's not like there's a shortage of sky. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but that's just like how everybody stands around and looks for so long. Like, you know what I'm saying? Which really surprised me about May. Like, she should have her black card revoked, because right now, black person <laughs> yeah, would have been, been gone. Gone. <laughs> gone. Watch out for that tail. Woo. He mad. You like, man, I can't believe y'all woke me up. I'm trying to I'm get sorry. this nap out. You know, trying to get my little 20 winks in. He saw me. Yeah, he saw you. You, you looked into your soul. But that shit go to tell you, he's like, he's not all evil. He's like, hell, y'all done woke me up. Good bullshit. <laughs> Puckett, this changes everything. I don't agree. The most powerful weapon this country has ever created could not bring that thing down. So we can't keep that to ourselves. Yeah, yeah, you do have to tell 
Yeah. It's an even bigger weapon and try again. Okay. And if that doesn't work, an even bigger one. And if they can't find Godzilla, maybe then they'll find somebody else to use it on. Ah, uh, yeah. And I certainly wasn't supposed to come back empty handed. So I need something. We need something, anything I can put in front of Bucket so we can get our asses out of the doghouse. I get her hesitation because if I came from a people that had been bombed twice, I ain't, I ain't trusting you. <laughs> Gentlemen, doctor. Mm -hmm. Some wild stuff in here. Uh, uh, what's going on? In the Navy, we call it change of command. He told you not to go, doc. It's yeah. General Pocket handed operational command and control of Project Monarch to me. He told you. She like, I, I told you. I told you. Mm -hmm. Dummy. And you still didn't, and you still didn't get it. Did all that? Lost Bye, everything everyone. for a kiss. Mm. No one survived the crash. And we're running out of time. No one survived the crash. Come on now, you know. Uh. You know, old dude is still alive. Mm -hmm. If you come with me, you'll know everything. I promise you. No. The only place we're going is after our father. Well, then you are coming with me. Uh, well, I'll leave you plenty of water and food. You won't need it because civilization is just 10 clicks that way. She better pick that whole Jeep up by herself. You got no map, no transpo. <laughs> Do you think he was waving us away? Do you think he's waving us away? You're standing on its back. <laughs> he's alive. So we keep looking. <laughs> Wait, like, who does we? <laughs> How many clicks have we gone? Mm. No idea. How are we going to go from here? Click there. There's only six miles. Someone always seems to have a backup of her backups. You wouldn't let us down, would you, May? <laughs> no, I can't do this anymore. This is my fault. <laughs> what do you mean? Seriously. No, I sold you out. Hey. And I never touched it because the wrong people could find me, but I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter. I How much you got? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we talking. Lot. I'm sorry. How many, how many zeros are we Kate. talking? How many commas we talking? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. All right, so that was uh, that was episode six. We we're on the uh, the back half, in the back half of the playthrough. <laughs> mm -hmm. The first half was pretty satisfying. This the 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 beginning of the second half is on a, it's on a good foot. You know, I think one of the things I had said, I think maybe we can both mutually agree on, is that you know it's about time to kind of like inject some action into this bad boy. Let's get some kaiju. Yeah. Let's kind of like dip into the past a little bit. And they they actually did mm -hmm. all of that. They gave us a little bit of all of that, and they gave us a little bit of uh, some 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 tension, some love tension, uh, yeah. going on that we didn't fully think was going to happen. Uh, I'm sure maybe some of y'all in the comments are like, "Oh yeah, you didn't see it coming." Well, you know, it's definitely blatant now, and and I like it. I I, I kind of like that mm -hmm. part of it. Uh, and, and there's also some new frustrations that that I've got now as a result of it. Good frustrations from from the plot. But uh, how are you feeling so far? yeah and i think you know like the love triangle i mean it's easy to have not seen it coming only because from episode one they completely established that bill and kiko were together right that they had a child already you know they were married had a child you know and so he was just you know he was the third wheel he was the military component to you know them the scientists yeah so this little wrinkle in here was very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate the context of the times too, because it's one thing to like, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about post-World War II, you know, people are feeling some kind of way about, about uh, pe people that are Japanese or of Japanese descent in the United States. And they mm -hmm. didn't like pretend like it was, that wasn't what was going on. You know, it was, mm -hmm. it was a dress or kind of a bit of a hat tip. Uh, the the yeah. awkward dance in the room where it's just the two of them, where it's kind of like us mm -hmm. against the world. I was, I was feeling that, you know, I, for me, I'm rooting for the relationship. I think they both yeah. kind of like, you know, they, they complement each other very, very well. But then, mm -hmm. you know, they, they threw a little wrinkle that that per 
personally is just aggravating, but plot wise I get, and that is Shaw catching feelings and making dumb ass decisions. I mean, yeah. ridiculously stupid decisions that is like, how could you not see that that was going to be the outcome when the dude sat there and warned you and was like, listen, play ball, you, told, you could be the yeah. king. If you don't, I'm gonna find somebody else that will. Yeah, he told him in his backyard and it's like, you know, but I mean, military man or not, that is typical male. He made a decision with his penis. And <laughs> that's, that's the most man shit ever. <laughs> My man had everything, man. He had, he had it like golden, unlimited budget. You could do what you want. You had uh, your team set up, bro. And he was like, ah, blank, I don't know this way. He had a, he had a blank check blank from the U.S. Check. government. <laughs> And he throwed it away for a sniff of something that he'll never get. He ain't well, even I, get. I swear to God. I can't even imagine if he had got it. Yeah, Lord, what would he have done? Yeah. He'd have been like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and lasso Godzilla for you. I'm gonna ride him, I'm gonna ride him on into town. Like what is it? <laughs> Boy, the stuff that men will do oh, over some women. Boy, I swear gosh, I swear yes, to God. Man. Ah, just dumb. Um, I guess on the other side of that, the thing, once again, it's like, uh, I kind of don't trust it. And that is the the little henchman, hitman woman, hit woman or whatever it is. Yeah. I, I still don't really know her name. IMDb says her name is Duvall, <laughs> but I have yet to hear yeah. the, her, them say her name. Um, and then just like this, this blinding trust that everybody kind of has with one another. Um, and, and then the, the the double cross going down with May and everything, you know, for for whatever reason, I guess the 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 present kind of annoys me. As long when when um, Kurt Russell's not involved, when I'm dealing with everybody mm -hmm. else, they just they just kind of get on my nerves. And, yeah. and and there was no fall off on that. It, it was just kind of just reinforced. I'm I'm about tired of May. Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, not not only the fact that I, it kind of pissed me off once again. Kate being Kate. Yeah. Uh, tired of Kate. You know, just uh, just her pessimistic ass. She boy, she need therapy. <laughs> you know, because you done done all this stuff. Like you wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't know nothing about nothing if it wasn't for Shaw. You get here and then all of a sudden, oh, he's crazy. No, they put me in this little facility over here and keep me locked up. Is it because I'm crazy or is it because I know too much? Yeah. Like, yeah. And you know, and I don't, I, I uh, it's not that I would trust Duval complicitly, but I do trust the emotions that she shown. She's a hit woman. She ain't no actress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when she was in the back of the 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 truck with Shaw freeing him, mm. the look on her face when she was talking about her sister. Yeah. No, I'm yeah, with you on that. Yeah, her those eyes are welled up, man. Yeah, yeah. She's her why mm -hmm. is different. You know, it's all about, you know, discovering yeah. what the person's why is. Why why am I doing this thing? Um and then she, you know, her her why is a bit of revenge never again you know we've heard people say that before mm -hmm. after after atrocities go down never again so i get it i'd tell you my my moment where where i was like this is ridiculous that moment when um the 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 guy in the basement the nerdy guy and uh and mm -hmm. verdugo were, were in um uh we're in the office of the scientists uh for, from hiroshi's uh office and he figured out everything, and he from, figured the everything boy. Out from looking at the pinholes in the wall i was like come on dog Really, Columbo yeah. word. <laughs> but you know what's funny though is because even as improbable as that is, probably not impossible for you know what I'm saying. Like if you were a monk or somebody like that, you know what I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm saying. Your autism has you function at such a high level. But this dude, like that is that was a very Columbo MacGyver I like for real Horatio right. Grissom <laughs> like. That was, you know, the the TV detectives and stuff are the most genius people on the face of earth. And he, <laughs> he pulled a Columbo moment. It's like, get out of yeah, here. Yeah, it's like, come on, man. You do it. You do it a lot right now. But but you know yeah. what though? If it's a plot device to kind of move things along, fine. And you know, I get it. I get it. The the more this series kind of moves on, like a part of me thought that it would have been a little bit more in the hyper realism world of this world of monsters. I don't know why I thought that because we're dealing with the world of monsters and Godzilla and moths that fly and three headed dragons. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought I was like, maybe they'll take this a little more seriously and they are, but then they're like, they'll do these little moments where, it's, where it feels like I'm watching, you know, something from the WB. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just, it kind of soap opery a little bit and that's, mm -hmm. and that's fine. 
it's not a deal breaker, but it's just like, okay, all right, now, now I got a better well, better idea of what I'm dealing with. And not only that, you have to re remember that everything we're watching is so much before the events of like really Skull Island. Um, so when we get into the present, Skull Island has happened, but nobody knows about it because the little file was lost at sea for forever. Right. It just got found or whatever, you know, the year before or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the the real events where, OK, we know about these monsters, we cataloging them, but they still, you know, they didn't break out and start causing havoc until 2019 in the Godzilla King of the Monsters. Mm. So you st we're still four years before that yeah yeah so right now what they're doing where they're kind of chasing godzilla around or whatever like i mean hiroshi's not around and verdugo ain't giving up no so you know i'm sure that they have people they have boots on the ground that know about certain monsters yeah but besides that they ain't nothing really cracking yeah 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 no you're you're, you're all, you know all even shaw that. said even shaw said that they're much more of a you know kind of uh data center they're kind of you know what I'm saying push numbers around push push papers around mm -hmm. because they didn't have the information that hiroshi has or that shaw has yeah okay so now this is probably what's happening right here in the present is probably the most that's happened in years yeah no, it, that, that's that's very true that's very true you get it you put in that type of context um uh what was I about to say um Oh, uh, this is the outside of like repeating old footage of Godzilla. Is this the have we, have we seen any new footage outside of this episode of Godzilla? Or because I think all the previous episodes when we did see him, it was all no, old movie was, footage. Right? Was old footage. Yeah. So yeah. this is all. This is the first this, time we've seen like new stuff. Yeah, seeing him in the water and then seeing him in the desert. Yeah. Which, when you go back and look at that scene in him in the desert, and you look at like the rock formation, it perfect. It did did look like his fins covered. You know what I'm saying in a in dirt and sand or yeah. whatever i'm just like did he dig a hole like how did he get under the how long he been there he got that much dirt and stuff on top <laughs> like of him his like, grass growing on top of your back I, yeah. <laughs> he got tumbleweeds and stuff over there um yeah i i um i'm happy that they brought him back because for a second I was having a moment. I'm like, are, are, is all the footage that of Godzilla that we're going to see going to be just old movie footage, or are we going to like, you know, maybe no, they, they some new, new stuff? In. Yeah, they put in a little bit of they they own stuff. So I'm not, I'm not too mad. All right. So as far as like the beginning of the second half of the season, how are you feeling so far? Um, it's I like it because once again, okay, so we got a little bit of backstory about May. Okay. Um, I want to see where that goes. Yeah. Uh, I can't see her being out completely um the whole thing of her pleading kate to you know listen to her and just understand you know is is kind of weird if all you want was out like why do you really care if kate feels or not you won't go back to your little quiet life and you probably never see kate again yeah. you know um kate is on my nerves like she just on my nerves she's back to the point where she's on my nerves <laughs> uh, and uh and Kentaro, he need to make some decisions. He need to put on his big boy pants and let find the things backbone. drop. Yeah, yeah. You find like, a backbone, my guy. <laughs> oh my dude. Yeah. So I don't know. So the kind of the splitting up of them and Shaw, like I'm, I'm anxious to see where Shaw and Duval are gonna go. Mm -hmm. And really, the the little nerdy guy was in the basement. Yeah. You want? You know, he said that nobody in the chopper survive they didn't kill him off which like that. not unceremoniously like that yeah. yeah but that's the thing though he's no longer important remember he already kind of gave the information to verdugo of how to track where shaw and them are going okay shaw is with duval uh so you don't need a little nerdy guy because now he just he would be just around a fanboy over shaw Maybe, maybe. Um, the only reason why, because I think I see, so I'm starting thinking like from a production standpoint and, and from a writing standpoint, you've done so much to establish this dude and to un have him unceremoniously go out. Typically, like when you've got somebody that's got that much clock time, that much screen time, mm -hmm. there's like a moment, you know, even even a, no, not like this kind of thing, but to just have mm -hmm. him kind of like die off screen and just be like, oh yeah, nobody survived. I don't know. But then again, yeah. I was wrong. I was wrong before because when when old dude showed up, that was like the fake security guard the and, and it was the pilot and I was like, there's no way they're going to kill him off. And they sure did mm -hmm. kill him off. So yeah, <laughs> all bets are kind of off. That theory doesn't necessarily hold true. So he could be gone. Yeah. He could be. He could be. I want to know yeah. how much money May got. 
like like you you rich 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 you uh yeah. you know are you well she's she's in japan living comfortably and living off the grid and so she's mm-hmm. Stacked up, but I mean, when she says she has a lot of money, I'm yeah. thinking maybe a couple million. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, if it's a couple million, a couple I mean, you can million. still do some some cool stuff. But if she yeah. ends up that that upper echelon kind of money, then that could be an interesting thing because then she's a gadget girl on top of it. You know, mm-hmm. okay, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. She could be like uh, the monarch version of Tony Stark's up in this bad boy. We didn't even know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. What's you man? Any closing thoughts before we get out of this bad boy? No, I'm just, uh, so we got four episodes left. Yep. Um, and, you know, and this is supposed to tie into or kind of, you know, do the Marvel thing where lead into uh, Kong versus, you know, Godzilla versus Kong mm-hmm. New Empire. So yeah. I'm kind of anxious to see where, how does that lead into that? Because that means, is it part of, does it, because it seemed like it logical sense with that it would lead to more into uh king of monsters and kong godzilla versus kong the first movie yeah instead of skipping over them and leading to the next one's coming out so i don't know how they pull that off i don't either because we are still way in the past we're still the Mm -hmm. yeah so even even the yeah even the present is the past so yeah so i think i think you're more Right, regarding like uh, some one, some of the previous previous movies instead of the new mm-hmm. one that's about to come out. Whatever the case, you know the MonsterVerse is still very intriguing, and I'm going to see uh, that movie as well. And maybe they'll probably give us some hints and a couple of uh, uh, Easter eggs uh, regarding the the big movie that we'll catch on catch on to a little bit yeah. later. Uh, hey, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you've been enjoying the conversation, just the way we chop it up, go ahead and hit that subscription button. And of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. And if you want to get to know Rakai a little bit better, yo, go on and tell the people how they can get in contact with you. On all social media, at Diamond Mind, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-M-Y-N-D because it's all about this right here. <laughs> That's my dog. Hey, man. Thank y'all so much. Mad love to the Geekish Network. We would, I will always give them a hat tip because that's how we got our start. Please head on over there. Check them out at YouTube forward slash the Geekish Network. All right. With that being said, we will catch you all for episode seven. All right, y'all. Peace.